Hey guys, welcome back to another discussion and analysis video, this time based on a brand new patent that Nintendo just filed for what looks like to be a new dedicated handheld, quite possibly the successor to the Nintendo 3DS, for a video game console that is capable of communicating with two separate screens via polarity. So let's go ahead and get started with the analysis of this patent and we'll discuss it as we go. So a brief description of this patent it goes as follows. It says, number one, a game system comprising of a polarity of information processing apparatuses configured to communicate with each other and include at least a first information processing apparatus and a second information processing apparatus and a control unit configured to control the polarity of information processing apparatuses wherein the first information processing apparatus includes a first display unit and a first touch panel that detects contact on the first display unit. The second information processing apparatus includes a second display unit and a second touch panel that detects contact on the second display unit. And when a slide input from a first position on the first touch panel toward a second position on the second touch panel is detected, Based on touch information detected by the first touch panel and the second touch panel, the control unit sets a positional relationship of the first display unit and the second display unit. Based on a first slide input on the first touch panel and a second slide input on the second touch panel. Out of the slide input from the first position toward the second position performs game processing that is based on the positional relationship and causes at least one of the first display unit and the second display unit to perform display that is based on the game processing. So what this is describing is two standalone screens and by touching two or more of these screens together information can be transferred or relayed between them in order to produce a brand new game experience basically. And there's various pictures in the patent showing that you can have your finger being dragged from one screen to another screen without the system losing track of where your finger is in position or relation to both of the screens. And there's another picture where you have a ball that seamlessly moves across the connection between both of the screens without it losing track of where the ball is in relation to where both screens are. And the patent doesn't just stop there. There's a lot of cool things you can do with these two screens or multiple screens besides just moving things back and forth between the two or more. You can also adjust the pitch of how you throw something between the screen and it reacts accordingly even if they're not touching each other. You can do this from a very short distance. Say you're moving a ball between the two screens and you actually have the ability to bank the ball off the air itself so it approaches a screen from a different angle. And there's also an example of a bowling ball where you can angle the screen upwards in order to provide realistic momentum for the ball to approach the pins at a more fast rate or slower rate depending on the angle that you're doing it on. And the patent also gives multiple examples of more than two screens connected. It has three and four different screens connected in different pictures. And I really like the one showing the four screens connected that looks kind of like an L shape where you can connect all together and kind of follow a path perhaps with four different players playing some type of game that way, almost like playing catch or dominoes or something that you can transfer in between screens and you have to meet some kind of objective. And they also had a example of three different screens coming together to form one picture. I could see that being used in puzzle games or you have, you know, multiple different pieces in one screen and then multiple different pieces in another screen. You got to make them all fit together. That would be a really cool way to play local multiplayer with your handheld. Now we have heard Nintendo say that they are currently researching new technology for another console in the future. This definitely looks like something that they could be using for a new dedicated handheld. And Kimishima did say last year they have not given up on dedicated handhelds and that a successor to the 3DS most likely will be coming. And this certainly looks like this could be something Nintendo is working on for a dedicated handheld. And quite possibly each handheld would have its own screen just like this, perhaps a single screen. And then when you come in contact with other players with their handheld, that's how you can play your local multiplayer games in this way. Obviously, you're not going to be having a console being sold with four screens or three screens. Two screens I could see. Obviously, they've done that quite a bit with the 3DS and the DS having two screens built into the console itself. But three or four screens, definitely that would be a local multiplayer thing with your friends who all have their own console themselves and you can all connect together and play together in that way. And obviously this technology is not really explained exactly how it works and all the technical aspects of it. 
So it might be possible if they have a dedicated handheld like this that your single screen could possibly be used with other screens too in certain ways, maybe cell phones or things like that. They didn't explain it fully like that, I'm just guessing, but maybe you could use it with other screens as well that don't have that same technology built in in different unique ways with that technology in your dedicated handheld. And of course, playing it with your friends who all have that together on their own handhelds. And obviously this would be completely different from the Nintendo Switch. Since the Nintendo Switch is made to be played on your TV and on the go, this looks like something very dedicated to being handheld only with a smaller screen and something that you could use locally as well if you choose to. And of course the gameplay aspects of this would be very limited to certain types of games, we know that. So really if this is the dedicated handheld that they have as a successor to the 3DS, this most likely would not be the core aspect of the experience, this would be just part of it is my guess. However, this would be a very good way that Nintendo could sell a lot more hardware without it cannibalizing the Nintendo Switch and that market. They could have a completely different market with this and actually sell a lot more hardware and make a lot more money from it. So this is all very interesting. A lot of people were speculating, well, how on earth could Nintendo release another dedicated handheld when they already kind of have that with the Switch? Well, this is basically how they could do it, just make it different enough and interesting enough as to where they could sell a completely different product and have another audience pick this up and also be able to pick up the Nintendo Switch and enjoy different experiences on it. But yet again, we want to repeat that this is just in patent form right now. None of this is confirmed by Nintendo. We don't even know if they're going to release it in the future, but it is very cool technology and I could definitely see them using it and selling a lot of these things because it does look like it could be used in many different ways and it could be a very fun experience. Alright guys, let me know what you think in the comment section about this patent. Do you think this technology is going to be used by Nintendo in a future dedicated handheld? Are you excited for it? Do you even like it at all or do you think it's a bad idea? Let me know what you think about it and your thoughts about this being used in a separate console than the Nintendo Switch in the not too distant future. Alright, so if you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you guys very soon in the next video. Have a great day.